Hey, New Hope, this is Pastor Brian. Hope you're doing well today. I just wanted to bring you a quick word of encouragement and a challenge. A few weeks ago, my family and I, we were able to travel to Colorado for a quick few days of vacation. And we took time to go hiking and exploring in the mountains. And man, we really enjoyed it. It was a good time. One of the days we took time to travel and drive up to the top of Pikes Peak. Pikes is 14,115 feet above sea level. It's one of those places that you, when you get to the top, the views are amazing and uh, it's just a really cool drive to be able to take up. Um, it's one of those drives though that is a little tense and exciting all mixed together. Um, as the driver, you don't really get to enjoy the views because you're driving and focused on the road. But as a passenger, you get to enjoy the views. But as a passenger, you also see the views and you're the one who's noticing how high up you're sending up to the mountains. Um, and when we got to this, the top, it got me thinking about um, Psalm 139. And it's a great psalm that helps us with all that we're going through. And so join with me. We're going to jump in at verse 7 of Psalm 139. It says, Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me, your right hand will hold me fast. Listen, no matter where we are, God is there. When we were at the top of Pikes, God was with us. When I have traveled to foreign countries, God has been with me. When I have sinned and I've tried to hide from God and, and, and to not be seen in a sense, God has been there and with me. Listen, if we try to hide from our sin and hide from God because of the mistakes and the sins that we've made, the Bible says that God is with us. Why? Because he absolutely loves us. He loves you, he loves me. If we move across to another state or to a foreign country, um, if we travel to the top of a mountain, if we go settle by a sea, God is with us. Why? Because he absolutely loves us and he is faithful. God is described many times as being omnipresent, meaning he's everywhere all the time. So let this be a word of encouragement and a challenge to you. That God is with you no matter what you've gone through, no matter what you're going through, God is there, the Bible says. So today, take time to pray, to spend time with the one who is with you, the one who is faithful. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for who you are. God, you are so faithful to us. You are there with us no matter where we go no matter what we go through you are there we we take comfort in that i pray that you would remind us of that and strengthen um, your church strengthen your people today as we continue to live for you and lord i also pray that it would be a word of a challenge to us lord that you do see what's going on you are with us no matter what we do no matter we where we are um, and so i pray that we would be reminded that we need to continue to live holy lives for you. Encourage your people today. In your powerful name we pray. Amen. New Hope, have a great week. Look forward to seeing you soon.